Raised at a young age by the Oboro clan of ninja, Joe Masashi was a student of the Oboro school and trained in the art of ninjutsu and shuriken throwing by his former sensei, Nakahara. Musashi began as the weakest student of the bunch, but with enough practice and meditation, he finally became a ninja master. Joe wields the Oboro Zuki, a mystical katana and Oboro clan treasure that was passed down to him by his predecessors. This remarkable ninja has faced many vile foes to protect the Oboro clan and loved ones, from Zeed's terrorists to human bioweapons, mechanized, and genetic monstrosities. A master of the shinobi arts, Joe's immense power and fighting skills has led many tales of his valor, which have in turn made him a legend and earned him the nickname, the Super Shinobi. The man behind the creation of the legendary ninja was none other than Yukata Sagano, a former game designer at Sega who had worked on many arcade titles for the company such as Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. Sagano's son joined Sega in 1986 and had been a fan of video games since his entire life, starting with the simple Nintendo breakout games on his television and then embracing the arcade boom of the early 80s while he was still in high school. While creating a new project for the Sega System 16 arcade hardware, Sagano-san wanted to create something that would identify with gamers instantly, something that was easily enjoyable and that would translate well to the game's environment. Ninja movies were quite popular in the US at the time, particularly those featuring Japanese martial artist Sho Kusugi, and figured a video game about ninjas would be successful in both Japan and Sega's overseas market. Sagano-san was also influenced by other arcade titles by other gaming companies such as Namco's Rolling Thunder, which players can take on a role of a secret agent out to stop a sinister criminal organization from achieving world domination in Konami's Gradius, as Sagano enjoyed how the game tested players' reflexes and sense of excitement they created. He wanted to bring these elements for his arcade project, thus creating Shinobi with the main character given the name Joe Musashi, whose name was based on the famous samurai Miyamoto Musashi, as well as the Musashi Shinjo train station in the Kanawagawa Prefecture in Japan. Joe Musashi made his own comic book appearance in Fleetway's Sonic the Comic, based on the Revenge of Shinobi video game, with five stories written. The legendary Shinobi had also made several appearances in other spin-offs such as the GG Shinobi for the Sega Game Gear, with the objective of saving his fellow ninja and working together to bring down a terrorist organization. Joe Musashi can be unlocked as a playable character in 2002 Shinobi for the PlayStation 2, its sequel Nightshade, and Shinobi for Nintendo 3DS. While his attacks are not as strong as the main characters in the PS2 games, Musashi makes it up with the ability to throw infinite shurikens. In Shinobi 3DS, Joe Musashi is playable in the game's Street Pass missions in his classic ninja outfit, paying tribute to the original arcade game. Joe participates as a racer in Sonic and All-Star Racing Transformed with a yellow and black quad bike which can transform into a boat and a jet ski. He also mentions his ancestor, Jiro Musashi, the main hero in Shinobi 3DS, honoring him as he wins a race. For Jiro, my ancestor. Joe Musashi can be unlocked as a playable character in the crossover puzzle combat mobile game Sega Heroes as a yellow legendary hero with abilities adapted from the Revenge of Shinobi and Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master. Before I end the video, did you know that Joe Musashi faced the likes of Spider-Man, Batman, Rambo, and Godzilla, the king of all monsters, in earlier iterations of Revenge of Shinobi? Our legendary Oboro Ninja almost made it in the roster of Four Streets of Rage 4 as an unlockable playable character, but never made the cut. 
No worries. At least he made it in as a cameo appearance. The reason why I chose Joe Musashi for this video is that he's been a part of my childhood ever since I owned the Sega Genesis and the Sega 6 pack. Shinobi as a series is known to be one of the most challenging game franchise in video game history that requires skill and practice. As the main character of an iconic franchise, Joe Musashi is acknowledged as one of Sega's earlier mascots along with Alex Kidd and Sonic the Hedgehog. With other Sega IPs coming back with fresh takes, I believe that there is still hope for the legendary Abaro Ninja as he will return to continue his story for another game as the Super Shinobi.